us to explore the main interface you will be using to analyze data, the Trillion Row Spreadsheet. In a way, it's like this whiteboard, a blank canvas for you to keep trying different analyses until you get the answer you were looking for. The TRS is split with the analysis pane on the left and the results pane on the right. When a new TRS window is opened, the object browser is displayed in the Analyze tab. The object browser is used to browse for and select the table or query on which to base your data analysis. In addition, a search feature is provided to help you locate folders, tables, or other objects. The analysis timeline displays the sequence of operations that define your analysis. In the View tab, you can see the different ways to view and interact with the data resulting from your analysis. In the Visualize tab, you can generate high-quality charts to support visual data discovery. The Develop tab has some of the more advanced features, but one you might use quite often is Save Query. Finally, we have the Export tab, which allows you to export the data resulting from your analysis to various destinations. You can expand your selection by using the OR function. In an OR function, data must meet at least one of the criteria. You can even select rows right from within the table. Select is the first operation you should use in an analysis. This narrows down the data and increases your analysis speed. Select is similar to filter in Excel. The three tools you can use to make a selection are a simple comparison, the expression editor, or row selection using the grid. Let's take a look at Compute. A computed column is a column you create yourself, which can be based on other information from your table or a hard-coded value. You can make a computed column using existing columns, arithmetic, relational, or logical operators. These include operators like addition, subtraction, greater than, less than, and, not, and OR. 1010 Data's platform can process computations on very large data sets faster than record-oriented storage platforms like Excel. Compute uses existing columns and mathematical, relational, or logical operators to add more information to a spreadsheet in the form of a computed column. These operators are listed in the reference manual. I can also format columns under More Options. Linking is a simple way to join two tables to create a single larger table with columns from both. It's useful when you want to join dimensional attribute data to fact tables, like adding customer details to a transaction table. It's similar to the VLOOKUP function you're using in Excel, but far more efficient. There are a few different ways you can customize your results. In the After Linking drop-down list, you can choose Keep all rows, include matching rows, exclude matching rows, expand to include all matching rows. I used to use pivot tables in Excel to summarize data for my analysis, but now I can create something like this in the Trillion Row spreadsheet. You'll use the tabulate operation for summarizations to calculate sums, averages, and other metrics based on data values from your table's columns. Tabulate creates a small, easy-to-read table that summarizes data for an analysis. Tabulate summarizes data based on specific metrics, like sum or average. I can group data using the row breaks section and can format tabulation results under more options. I can sort columns to get a better understanding of the data. 
That's right. We're now going to look at how you can dive deeper into your analysis with cross-tabulation, which allows you to compare the relationship between two or more variables. So it's similar to a pivot table that groups data both by columns and rows in Excel. Cross-tabulations are a way to aggregate data by two different spatial dimensions, like store and date. I'm working on an analysis right now to find out which product was most popular at different retailers for the holiday season. This is exactly what I needed. Cross-tabulating allows me to compare the relationship between two or more variables. To cross-tabulate data, I need to add a column to the upper area of the column break section. And I can perform operations on tabulated tables to gather more information for my analysis. I'm stuck working with two tables that have similar datasets. I've tried to link them to combine the rows, but it doesn't seem to be working. You might actually want to use merge instead of link. Merging combines rows from two or more worksheets or tables, while linking combines columns. Merging combines worksheets vertically, while linking combines them horizontally. This operation is similar to the cut and paste function in Excel. If you're familiar with SQL, merge is essentially a SQL union statement. Merge is different than link. It combines rows instead of columns. I can merge data from two or more tables or worksheets to create a new table. Arrange allows you to arrange, hide, and show columns so you can focus on data that's relevant to your analysis. You can do this in the Arrange panel or directly in the grid. So it's a bit like dragging and dropping columns in Excel. I can arrange, hide, and show columns using the arrange operation in the analysis timeline and arrange and hide columns directly in the grid. My changes won't affect the original table so I can customize my worksheet as I see fit. I love to sort my data in Excel. It's so satisfying to watch everything fall into place. Sorting data in the trillion row spreadsheet is very similar to sorting in Excel. I can use sort to order my rows in ascending or descending order using the sort operation or directly in the grid as long as I have 100 million rows or less. I can sort using more than one column by choosing a primary and secondary sort key. I should only sort data when it's necessary for an analysis and after performing all other operations first.